If you have some experience with Git and GitHub, you may have noticed that this module is not about Git, but rather about GitHub. And so what is the difference between Git and GitHub? Let's talk about that just a little bit. Git is a free open source tool for version control. You can down, anybody can download it for free and use it. It is most often used through a command line inter, interface where you open a terminal window in your uh, computer and you type commands, uh, written commands, and they're executed. Um, it uh, can be used just on your own local computer if you want to manage versions that way. It can also be used with a remote system as well, connecting to a place like GitHub, but it's not necessary to use it with GitHub. Git is not the only version control system. There's a couple other popular ones. One is called Subversion. This is uh, supported by the uh, project management system Jira. And another commonly used one is Mercurial. But I would say Git is probably the most uh, popular and commonly used version control system. GitHub is a commercial website. Uh, it is now owned by Microsoft, who has committed to maintaining it for the indefinite future. So uh, its uh, financial position is probably pretty secure. You can use GitHub to host projects of your own as an individual. They also have uh, institutional accounts so that an organization can manage projects that involve many individuals. There is a free tier that offers a lot of services. Everything that we're going to talk about today can be done with the free tier. There is also a paid tier that offers a lot of additional capabilities, particularly ones relating to uh, managing members of an organization. So uh, GitHub is called GitHub because it uses Git to manage projects in the cloud. So GitHub uh, can be done only in the cloud, but typically GitHub is used to synchronize projects that you're working on your, on your local computer with projects that you or your organization is managing in the cloud website, GitHub. We can represent what I just described in this diagram right here. So, on your own local computer, you have a copy of all the files you're working with. This is called your, the repository on your local drive. Um, it's connected up with your, the drive uh, file system of your computer. Up in the cloud, there is GitHub, which is the place where the files are stored and managed. And you can communicate with uh, that repository directly using the GitHub web interface. So it's possible to work exclusively uh, in, just on the website online, but as I said, typically people work on their local computer, push changes up into GitHub, uh, and then pull those changes back down, um, including changes that may have been done to the project by other people. The uh, Software Carpentries provides a great series of lessons on learning command line Git. We will not be using command line Git in these lessons, um, but if you're interested in learning those, I, I recommend that you check them out. The one thing is that the primary focus of, of command line Git and Software Carpentries is this local part of managing uh, the files on your local drive. Our focus is going to be primarily with taking the files on your local drive and managing them in the cloud on Git, the GitHub repository. We will be using the GitHub desktop client, which is a graphical user interface. It does not require learning any command line at all. Um, if you know both command line and the graphical user interface, uh, GitHub desktop, you'll realize that they're uh, conceptually organized in the same way. And most of the things that you can do with one, you can do with the other. 